Get excited. Today I have lots of fun stuff to play with. My name is Angela Anderson and welcome to my studio. First up, I just want to show you a little of the things that we're going to be playing with today. And I've got a Rebecca Bear Steampunk Pocket Watch Stencil. Um, this came out in 2015 and what I like about the Rebecca Bear Stencils is the lovely filing system that they come with at the top there. So this one's going to be steampunk and I think we're going to use that as part of our background. So we're going to hold that out handy. I've also got these cute little dress forms from retrocafeart.com. I think we'll have some fun with one of these. Go ahead and get one of those out for our layout. Also from RetroCafeArt.com, I've got some scroll work, and I don't know quite what we're going to be doing with these, but I've got several little pieces here, and I'll show them again in a minute, and we'll figure out which ones will work best with our layout. Last but uh, not least, as far as non-painting supplies, I've got a Cottonwood Arts canvas notebook. This baby was $25 at Michael's. It's a beautiful book. And the best thing about it was I had a 50 off coupon. So wait for those coupons and you can really reduce your prices and get some affordable things. So I'm just going to pull this off. Again, Cottonwood Arts. We're not going to start with the cover because, you know, you never start with the cover, right? We're going to start with something a little bit less intimidating than the cover. Although I've bought some cool things for the cover I think you'll like. But, just like it says, rather than it being heavy duty paper, it's actual canvas. Now this the canvas side is on the right side. There is a heavy duty paper stuck to the canvas on the other side. You can hear how thick it is. So if you want to do a two page layout you can just know that it's going to be textured on one side with canvas. Nice flat lay to the book so when you open the pages it's got beautiful got a beautiful way of laying down for you. So I think as far as layout, I'm going to paint a background on there and I'll show you what I'm going to use for that. And I think I'm going to put my little dress in the lower corner and give it some, I don't know if I'm going to use this as part of the dress. Maybe. Is this the matching one? So maybe this would come up here. And we can use that. Center it a little more. Maybe something like that. You know. Um, I've got three sets of scrolls, but so far I'm liking the, look at the shadow, isn't that cool? <coughs> There's Trixie, she's just saying hi. Yeah, so far I like the first one, so let me put these aside. She's about nine pounds of trouble. Still liking the ones with all the details. So I'm going to save these guys. And this. And then scoot this over so I can talk to you about the paint. Oh, 
Okay, the paint that I have out right now is called Twinkling H2O's. It's watercolor with built-in amazing shimmer. You're going to love it. Um, it's it's just gorgeous. I've got out um, several colors. I just kind of wanted to keep mine a nice soft girly palette. I've got oyster, icicles, um, baby's breath, natural linen, fire and ice. Um, after natural linen I've got uh, cherry sorbet, pink cloud, chiffon pink, and fire and ice. So I'm excited. The other thing that I have is the Radiant Rain Shimmering Mist and this is Pearl Gold. I've also got just some water in a spray bottle. And we're just going to go ahead and wet our surface. And let's see here. I want to get a big wash brush. This is a one inch black gold wash. And just get that water. And I'm working both sides, the one with canvas and the one without. Just get that water spread all over. And let's start with the pink cloud. Just get some color on here and go into both pink families. And just making figure eights and clouds and maybe I want to do like a banner down here. Okay, well this is coming off, so we are just going, and it probably was meant to, so we are just going to put that aside. Just getting a nice blushy color on here. Just picking up and sharing all the colors. Nice and soft. And I sprayed my Twinkling H2O's before I even got started to get them to prime. This color adds a lot of warmth. This is the natural linen. How about we just why not? Get 
this to dry up a little bit. Now, what I may want to do is just go around, enhance some of these edges. A little more shadow, a little more of this rust color. guys haven't worked with this is called icicles it's got a lot of shimmer in it if you guys haven't worked with the twinkling h2o's they're more than just watercolor they're watercolor with shimmer in it they have beautiful sheen and shine and you know uh, the amazing thing about them is they actually do have unlike most watercolors they have a white and it works Okay, so what I may want to do here is use a little bit of my Rusty Mauve and that, give me one second. Okay, I've got my Rusty Mauve, which is also a Luminar product, in the silks. And I've also got Rebecca Bear's number two Artiste 500 stenciler. 
and I am going to I'm going to use sorry my little doggy was scratching at the door she demanded to be let in I shut her out when she barks and then she has to come back in when the drama's over okay so what I want to do is take the stenciler and I'm just gonna borrow some paint from the lid you sort of tap that all over Come over here, rouge that off on a paper towel, and then use these incredible bristles. To rouge in my stencil over here. Now you could have taped the stencil down. In fact, Rebecca Bear has her own stenciling tape, which is nice. I'm going to tape that down easily before starting. And I'm working in a circular motion. Love this key. And what I may want to do. See how long that paint is lasting? And what I may want to do here is actually switch colors. And I'm pulling that out. So that the color is inconsistent. I don't want a consistent color. I want it to fade in and out. Now, I think a nice complement to this color might be like a, a copper or maybe a Maybe a rustic rose. These are silks acrylic glazes. Now, let's see. Remember, I'm in the paint and I'm off to the side. This one's got a little bit, gotta get a little more. This one has a little gold in it, which I like. And I might, I'm gonna pick up even a little more. It's, it's there, but it's not quite what I'm, yeah. So that's Emperor's Gold. I just want to get some variation on here. That's going to be quite nice. My brush is brand new and I should have fanned it out just to get the little bristles out of it. And I failed to do that, so that's on me. So I think I'm ready to pull that up. Isn't that fun? These little guys are just, should just pick right up. All right, so 
think I can get by with waiting just a little bit to clean that stencil. So far, I am very pleased with how this is turning out. I just like to soften my edges a little bit. And ever so often, I like to test my placement. She may be going crooked now. You never know. Yeah, probably so. So far, so good. I like it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is another round of this. But I want to get it placed a different way. Maybe go more toward some golden color, which is Emperor's Gold. Remember, I'm tapping on the stencil. And then rouging on the paper towel and then coming to my surface. this one. Nice thin paint. Just rouge it out. All right, we're going to set that aside for just a little bit, and believe me, I will clean that ASAP. Now, we need to get our side piece is painted. I am going to spritz this while while I'm waiting for this to dry. This is Radiant Rain Pearl Gold. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to prep my other pieces. So, let's give... If you haven't tried the Radiant Rings, they're going to die. 
They're go gorgeous. You need to shake them up nice and great. And it just leaves a shimmer all over like nobody's business. Hope you can see that. If you can't see it there, probably see it on the other side of the book. Might as well shake, shake, shake it off. That's my glitter. All right, so earlier, my little blow dryer stopped without me stopping it, so I have a feeling it may be stopped, but we'll see. Get bits of dust. It's about the third one I've had here. That's okay, we'll work around it. But it is the right one that works. Dead soldier. Talking about my uh, heat gun over there. Okay. Alrighty now. It's time to give us a little. On over here. I kind of like, kind of like the natural look of it, but. I think we need to go with some color. And I think I've just got a number 12 wash brush. I think I'm going to pick up some of the Rustic Rose. Well, these are transparent, so the craft board will still show through. Picking up some Emperor's Gold. I'm working that in as well. Now, which one of these? I know that I picked them out. Oh my goodness, that child of mine, that four-legged child of mine. May I help you? You want to come in and help film? This is getting a bit ridiculous with you. Okay, so here are my lovely wings over here. Maybe we will do these in the golder color. I could have avoided the natural look with um, 
base coating these with gesso first. If I didn't like that it had a natural look, but I actually love it. And I think it would be pretty. So I'm just getting a coat of Emperor's Gold on my way on my uh, dress elements here. I could use them as stamps. I scared y'all there for a minute, didn't I? I live on the edge. So I've got most of this painted with the rustic rose down here. Then up here we pick up the Emperor's Gold. To give it a two-tone color. Now we got some tooling. Who doesn't like tooling? And it has glitter in it, so get excited. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to give this a pull. make it look like a beautiful dress here. All right, turning it over, I'm going to use a little bit of Trixie. You really going to tear up all my paper towels? Oh my gosh. Never ends with this one. You better stay out of that. Goodness. What goodness? I promise I meant to work today. All right, so I've got some just plain glue in my fine line applicator standard tip. Let me get this nice and covered. I think. Flip this up, flip this up, and we've got what looks like a little 1950s retro skirt. Okay, now. Let's get this glued on. Put 
think I'm going to put it a little high. Leave my dress fluffy. So we can continue to work on it. I think that'll stick. And See what else we can do here. Okay, now you have to move her around just a little bit. be nice. Something different for a change rather than freehand painting, right? I like these fine line applicators because you could really get in here and do some detail work. Let's get you flipped around. And on the retrocafeart.com, she's got lots of fun stuff. Um, it's just laser cut type things, but it's definitely stuff that I think you're going to love to play with. Her name is Kristen. She's making all this stuff herself. I think I'm going to leave it asymmetrical. I'm going to let that, I'm going to bend that skirt a little bit and let it pop up. Definitely have to put something on the cover of this book. Because I've already messed it up, of course. I think it's going to smash down nicely. And probably need to get, let's see what we can do. I've got some Prima marking paper flowers. Hmm. Hmm. Or I've got these little roses. roses. Okay, so what I want to do is take my Rebecca Bear stencil brush. I'm going to go into some of my rustic rose color, work that onto my palette, off onto a paper towel, and into my rose. A little goes a long way. Switching over to Emperor Gold and eventually Rusty Mauve. Rusty Mauve is this bright pink, so you really want to make sure you're 
over here on the palette and then rouging on your this is like a rouging technique you really don't want to go all guns blazing into your flowers I'm just doing the quick, quickity quick version. These are pa uh, plain paper flowers. I'm just getting some color on them. Now, how to use them? I can tuck them into this skirt. And then simply fan them out. And I can glue them on one by one. And I think. I like the wildness uh, how they're just placed and just kind of curling them. Pulling them full, curl, flatten. This is the reason they give you one of these so that if your art is dimensional it does keep shut now I know, I know that you guys think that this needs a few roses. I can, I can hear you out there. <laughs> okay. Now that we added them. Remember, this is canvas. These are my silks. I'm starting with Rusty Mauve. Picking up a little gold. And I may pick up a little of a little interference gold. Let's see what happens.
I like it. But I think I'm actually going to need to pick up a little bit of a white acrylic paint. Just to give that a pop. Yeah. Oh, these are so pretty. Let's get one up here. I think we're having fun. So far, so good. Let's get one right here. Yeah, I just wanted to get you guys out of your comfort zone, maybe give you something, a few new tools to mess around with. And I hope I did that. Right up, let's see, I've got two spots. I'm going to give it three. Might as well, right? One where you can kind of see them up here. This is my one half, three quarter inch angle brush. Loaded with the lightest value on the toe, the darkest value on the heel. And we're just getting some roses in here to match this little Parisian themed fun design in the first page of my little art journal. And I think instead of doing um, green leaves instead of introducing another color we're just going to do some emperor gold leaves I think maybe even add a little bit of our palette colors but I think this will keep it a little regal
and fun. You know, I've got these cool looking burlap panel value packs right here. I wonder if they would be conducive to gluing on my inside cover and then maybe adding some little pins of fabric swatches on them. I think that might be cute. Just coordinating fabric swatches. Okay, so let's do a recap. I used first of all, this is a canvas notebook. So the pages are canvas on the right hand side. I used a Rebecca Bear steampunk pocket watch stencil which is great fun and I think you'll enjoy them. I then applied my stencil using a number two Artiste Rebecca Bear stenciler and when you get these you just kinda wanna fluff them out pull out any wild hairs if you've got some too go ahead and pull those out the first thing I started with though were my twinkling H2O's and I did the background of my page and I used Oyster, Icicles, Baby's Breath, Natural Linen, Cherry Sorbet, Chiffon Pink, and Fire and Ice. So this was my palette. I used all of those colors on there. I used a couple of three-dimensional scroll work and dress form provided by RetroCafeArt.com After my twinkling H2O's dried on the background I applied my Rebecca Fair steampunk pocket watch stencil and while that all dried um, I prepared my my dress form by using a combination of rustic rose and emperor's gold in the silks acrylic glazes. Then I used a bit of gold glittered tooling to create my dress. I put, I glued, I tied that in and I, oh, okay, let me not forget this. After I did my stenciling, I sprayed the whole page with Radiant Rain Shimmery Mist and it's pearl gold. I'm going to do that again. So I get my... dress form. So that looks good. And it just has amazing shimmer and glitter. Sorry. I'm just showing my head. Okay, so then I had these paper flowers, which I also used Rebecca Bear's um, stenciling brush to bring out the colors. I used Rustic Rose, Emperor's Gold, and Rusty Mauve to get those colors nice and shimmery. This is Deco Arts Glamour Dust, another amazing glittery product. And Got that on there as well. So 
So after applying the, I glued down the embellishments, including the scroll work, the dress, the uh, tooling for the dress, the roses I rouged with all of the coordinating colors. I bent them into place and then I hand painted roses up on it as well. I spritzed the whole thing again at the end with Radiant Rain Pearl Gold. I then I'm just, uh, I painted the roses and now I'm just merely going to let this dry. Now I'm happy. I think it turned out pretty good. Now I might play with the, the placement of these roses a little bit just to get the, the greens covered up a little more. Have the roses pop. But my idea for this side of the page again is to kind of get a feel like I'm in a um, like a French fabric shop and so what I'm probably gonna do is get little pieces of fabric and glue coordinating with this page get little pieces of fabric glue them on here or even use a pin on here and put those on there as well and then close this and, and then I've got to do the cover you guys I promise you'll help me do the cover so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it this was an hour so we really went to town today fun 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 enjoy uh, the color art products can be found at colorart.com you can see me at www.angelaandersondesigns.com enjoy your twinkling H2O's enjoy your silks and all your fun products and just you know uh, Rebecca Bear's stencils they're just gorgeous check check out her fancy stuff online at RebeccaBear.com and I, I don't think you'll be disappointed I, I haven't used anything here today that I haven't just loved so God bless and happy creating <laughs>